All right, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a load test of my little generator uh, on wood gas. This is the same FEMA 1.6. I've got it up to temp. I just did a filter change on it. And uh, you can see she's burning blue. Um, <laughs> not that blue really matters a whole heck of a lot, but uh, it's burning. I'll pick up the camera here. There it is. I don't know. Sure is pretty, anyhow. Anyhow, uh, this is the same old generator. I fired it up before on wood gas. See my carburetor set up here. And uh, we'll come around to this side of it. It's getting kind of dark, so I hope you'll be able to see this. See that FW1000? I believe... This is like a little three horse or three and a half horse. Right here you can see it uh, says uh, FA76D. It's a Kawasaki model. Just a tiny little guy. You can see my hand compared to it. But uh, I haven't fired this thing up in, uh, geez, I don't know, a couple of months now on wood gas. And again, I didn't, haven't done a darn thing to it. The last time I shut it off from wood gas, I just put it in the corner and walked away. So we're going to see if we can get it to fire back up again. Um, and the reason I wanted to do this video is I wanted to do, a, a, again, a load test on wood gas. Um, we'll come over here. I've got this extension cord plugged in. And we'll follow the cord into the shop here. And it's got it, I've got it plugged into a grinder. Now, this is a Skill brand 4.5 inch grinder. Don't laugh. It's not the most expensive thing, but it's functional. So, what I've got on here is a zip cut disc. You can see it's a real thin cut wheel and a piece of inch and a half by inch and a half handrail, thin wall. Now what I did, as you can see on the top here, it's labeled 600 watt. I have a power inverter and I plugged it into my battery bank uh, over there on the ground. It's kind of hard to see behind that toolbox. Anyhow, I plugged it in, the inverter, and I started plugging in all of my corded tools and running them at free spin and then running them under a load and I marked all of my tools with a sharpie how many watts they drew under a load. So this draws 600 watts unload according to my power inverter. So this generator is rated, I, I would assume it's rated at 1,000 peak watts, probably 750 normal watts. So we're going to put a 600 watt draw on it and see, if, uh, see what happens. That's probably, I would say, seven eighths of its capacity you know around 80 to 90 percent of the generator's capacity and we'll see if it'll keep up on wood gas so we'll get this camera set down I'll shut off my uh, ball valve to the flare there and uh, we'll try to get this generator fired up once we get it fired up I'll give it a oh I don't know a minute or so just to get warmed up and then we'll put a load on it and see what happens slide my chair out of the way here We'll come over here, Yummy. and we'll set the camera down. That's not bad. I think you can see everything there. Safety glasses. All right, so here we go. We're going to shut off the flare pipe, this bulb out here, kill the flare, and it's got a distinct sound when it goes out. There it's out. So we'll unplug my fan. Open this ball valve to let fuel travel. Down the hose again. Quick squirt of starting fluid into the intake. Hook up the carburetor or ball valve assembly. And we'll give it a pull. Ooh, that was close. That was close for right off the bat. We'll give it another pull. Squirt of that. We'll let it warm up. Not too shabby for uh, not firing the generator in like two months or so. Second pull. I don't know if gasoline would do that good. I really like that little generator because it's just... Uh, <laughs> sorry about my son. He likes the garage too. Just a quiet little thing. That generator really does run good. So I'm going to let it warm up for a minute or two. In fact, I'll pick up the camera. 
There we're connected, pulling gas down through the hose, through my ball valve, and she's just purring away. So it's not all the way, it's not running at full full uh, RPM. So I'm going to play with the ball valves and we'll see if we can get it to, to run up a hair bit. Okay. So that's about wide open as far as, you know, as the generator normally runs. You can hear it as it's starting to pick up a little RPM now. We'll let it run for a second or two. And then we'll get a load test on her, 600 watts, see what happens. Got four and a half inch grinder, 600 watt load on a 750 generator. I mean, 600 watts a draw um, on wood gas on a generator that's rated at 750 normal to 1,000 uh, watt peak. There's my son again. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So thanks for watching. Please rate and comment.